Welcome back to the show. Now it's time to look at the latest numbers. We've got Charles already in the studio. I'm What's here. happening, Charles? Yes, yes. Uh, clearance rates are still pretty steady, 70.4%. So it's been in the 70s for a few weeks. Not too bad at all. Star performers, Sydney, 79.5. Melbourne, 68.6. I'm only talking about the star performers this week. Adelaide, 67.6. Back in there again. Really quite extraordinary. So you can see it's sitting up there. But I expect the clearance rates to pull back. I expect them to come back into maybe the early 70s because more stock coming onto the market. Uh, again, higher prices, sellers are coming in at a higher price, so the negotiation is going to be down. So selling at auction is going to be a little harder. Selling after auction will dominate in some of the areas because of the negotiation that needs to go on. And it's an important time now because we're just about to get into November. If someone's listing their property, they've got to list it really in the next couple of weeks to give it a, a campaign's number four run. weeks. Yes, they've got to give it a good run. They've got to get it in there now. But, uh, but, but people are going to have to be a bit more realistic because uh, you wouldn't put your home on the market now at a lower price because there's so much activity. So you, it, realistically, you're going to go in at a higher price. And so there's going to be a bit of movement and negotiation. So area. if we look at the homes advertised for sale graph, more properties coming on. Yeah, look, that, that's Christmas. climbed uh, every week now for the last uh, four weeks 1.37 percent plus this week last week was 0 .0, 0 0.48 and the week before was plus 2.15 so we've had that little bit of growth but we're, we're expecting to see it mount more and more in there but again coming in at a higher price and I think that's where the uh, negotiation skills of your agent are going to be critical if you're thinking of selling right now you've got to stop thinking about the commission you know, going with the agent with the lowest commission. It's not about that. It's about the agent that can negotiate the best possible price for you. That's got to be the critical thing you think about. And again, just like the viewer question, we have it so many times because everyone's selling on, oh, this agent's telling, selling it for 10 grand rather than mm. 20 grand. Mm. But if he's going to get you another $50,000, yep. who cares? If they can't negotiate, look, the story in the industry, if you like, if uh, what we talk about, if you can't negotiate your fee, a correct fee for your service, how are you going to negotiate a, the best price for the owner of the property? Yeah. yeah, so if they go from 2% to 1% straight away, they might take your home from 500 down to 400 Yeah, yeah. you've got, you know. you got to really think, because they need to sell your home now. They need to sell it quickly, because they're not going to make much money out of it. Now, obviously, residential rents, especially in our areas, kind of around the beaches, summer, it's the rents are going yeah, up. Yeah, those, those areas, the holiday country? areas, uh, or, or casual letting, uh, very good. But realistically, again, around the countryside, Sydney itself sit, uh, sits at 12.53, that continuing climbing chart. Melbourne has been fluctuating, but it's cli climbed slightly to 7.11 this week. And Perth is still up there, 18.18%. So the overall between all of those three is just on 15, oh, sorry, 12.61%. So just slightly and in that the range there. From when we've been oh, yeah, we've been January. keeping this chart for that period of time. So they are moving, but there is a plateau. You can see the plateau and you look at the graph, you can see that's flatlining. It's been flatlining for a few weeks. So don't expect anything uh, to be too fantastic. Get ready for a change. And how about the vacancy rate? So that's actually demonstrating it even more so. Sydney 2.28%, pretty good. Melbourne 2.94%, really good. Perth 5. 28% vacancy rate. So an overall is 3.5. So Perth has been climbing every week. So keep an eye on it, watch the charts, watch how they move. Now, the big thing that I'm talking about my clients at the moment is obviously the market, I think it's moving pretty smoothly. It's yeah. moving up, which, which is great. The next big decision is basically Christmas break. We quite often get a lot of clients that are then talking to their partners, they actually mm. see the partners over Christmas and they talk about investing, is there's either going to be a massive jump coming into January and everyone's suddenly really keen or maybe they're going to fade off or it just carries on as it's yeah. not going to be. Well I think there's, there's still the same amount of enthusiasm from buyers but I just do think that the the entry price of listings coming on the market is going to be higher and going to make them think a bit. Yes, the activity will be there, but again, it comes down to the ability of the real estate practitioner to, to put the transaction together, and they're the ones you want to find. Because typically the bottom end of the market recovers first, and so as there's more confidence, then people put more expensive properties back on the market. Yeah, they true? will. The, the, the top end has started to come on. There are quite a few listings are coming on at the top end, and that's not the area that's selling. So there is some movement at both ends right now, so we'll see how it goes over the Christmas period, Chris. Great to see you as always. Thanks for all the information. Thank you. Thanks for joining us at home. We're going to be back next week. Until then, I'm Chris Gray. Good night. The information featured in this program is general in nature and therefore should not be relied upon. Guests appearing on the program may have commercial arrangements with some of the companies mentioned. Before making any investment, insurance or financial planning decisions, you should consult a licensed professional who can advise whether your decision is appropriate for you.